welcome to this first episode of Season 2 of Doctor Who Devotee and today we're gonna talk about, well as is here, The Magician's Apprentice, the first episode of Series 9 which aired yesterday. So what do I have to say about this episode? Well firstly we're gonna say something about this Doctor Who review um, thing that I'm gonna do is that if you haven't seen the episodes, don't watch it, because it's super spoilery. So, the, the, magi the Magician's Apprentice. Did I say Magician for before? I might have done. Okay, The Magician's Apprentice, the start of Series 9. Well, it was a pretty nice start of it, because... Uh, well, firstly, when I saw it was Stephen Moffat wrote it, I was a little bit skeptical. But then I found out that the director of this episode is the same woman who directed Blink, actually. So that boosted my hopes up. And it was actually not a bad episode. It really wasn't. So it was a good starter for Series 9, I think. And, well... Especially since this, the opening sequence before the titles, where uh, there is this child who is about to die in an area and the doctor comes to save him with the help of his sonic screwdriver, which is still this one. So he uses this to communicate to the child and it turns out that that child is Davros as a child. And I mean, that is... A moral dilemma for the doctor because I mean, am I about to save the child who will destroy worlds? It's sort of like Genesis of the Daleks or over again that part. Well, after the title sequence, we see this mysterious figure who's sort of made by snakes who works for Davros, who's looking for the doctor because he's missing. Cut to the Earth where we have Clara uh, in her school, noticing that. A plane has frozen in the air, and that's not all. Every single plane has frozen all around the globe, so she contacts the unit, we get to see Kate Stewart again, and there we find out that it's Missy who's behind all that, and apparently Missy is looking for the Doctor. So they go and find the Doctor, and he's in the 12th century in Essex, and he's sort of doing some weird shit, he r rolls in on a tank playing electric guitar and playing sort sort of something that sounds like the Doctor Who theme which is pretty weird yeah so the thing is that the creature uh, Bill of Snakes shows up there and takes the Doctor along with him and Missy and Clara to a space station where Davos is held and meanwhile we find out that uh, some of those civilians seen earlier in uh, the in the arena where the Doctor played or at least one of them is actually another cover Dalek so they take the TARDIS yeah so cut to them ending up on the space station with Davros and Davros says that he remembers which means he remembers that the doctor well basically that the doctor left him and the thing is what I like here is that the sonic screwdriver was destroyed so I hope it stays destroyed because that means we're going back to like in the classic era where where the sonic screwdriver isn't like the most important tool I've got one thing by the way that I wanted to have in this review I want to have this one here as well. Look, I bought one of these. I have really bad lighting right now, but yeah. We have the Doctor pop head. Yeah, so the Doctor loses his sonic screwdriver. It gets destroyed there. Which is pretty nice, actually, for a classic Who fan like me who feels that the sonic screwdriver is overused. So, well, essentially... Clara and Missy are trapped in a cell while the Doctor talks to Davros and to escape they open up uh, the doors to outer space, uh, well Missy does, and they find out that they're not in outer space, they're 
in a building on Scaro, which for me is like, wait a minute, Scaro? I don't understand this. This is weird for me. Because just like few. Well, since I don't remember much about the last Davros story, the Stolen Earth, uh, and Journey's End, Scarrow for me was recently destroyed in uh, Remembrance of the Daleks with the Seventh Doctor, so for me it was like, wait, shouldn't Scarrow be destroyed? I know it's time travel and such, but Davros is, is at his end of his life, and if he's uh, older than he was back in Remembrance of the Daleks, shouldn't Scarrow have been destroyed in that supernova that the Doctor created, uh, where he tricked Davros? So right now I'm a bit confused about that. But anyways, I really liked how it turned out later that, I mean, for example, that the Daleks, I thought it was special that they used uh, the Doctor, uh, well, that Davros used memories of the Doctor from the past and uh, showed because it was a good way, of, for example, that they actually used the Tom Baker clip where he has the two wires and uh, are at the point of maybe destroying the Daleks from being ever created. But, yeah, then uh, Missy and Clara and the TARDIS got destroyed by, or exter exterminated by the Daleks and there it was like, okay, now I don't like it anymore just because now it can just get no logic at all. So, because I mean, if Missy and Clara are killed, it sort of ruins the thing with why didn't he go back? to save Adric like that, if he can go back to save Clara like that. Yeah. So that's how it's gonna probably be resolved in the next episode, I think. And lastly, I really like the ending where... But that's still uh, illogical too, that the Doctor went back with in time to where he was going to save young Davros, but the TARDIS was destroyed. So, how, because he says he's from the future, and he says, stands with the dolly gun and says, I'm here to kill you to save my friends, basically. So, that's where it got a bit weird. But still, I really liked the start of this season. I mean, it was a really good episode, and uh, d considering that uh, I thought, well, basically, because Stephen Moffat, uh, according to me, and a lot of other people usually don't care too much about canon and changes too much. But actually he sort of managed to make a pretty good job and I think with help from the director of Blink this became a really good uh, start of this two-part story. Yeah, so that is the start of the 12th Doctor second season and my opinion is that it's a good episode. Even though it, as usual, when it comes to Doctor Who nowadays, has some plot holes. What's pretty fun though was that they made a little reference to... They they searched all over the world for uh, the Doctor and uh, the TARDIS. And they found three verses of Atlantis, which is pretty funny that they used that joke. Since uh, there are, back in the classic era, we have with the second and third Doctor, we have three individual stories about Atlantis and they're all different. So pretty fun that they uh, joked about that. And I'm gonna rate this episode, I don't know which system I'm gonna use, but well it gets it gets nine out of out of twelve kidneys. Yeah. <laughs> That's my rating for this one. So, oh, and by the way, I really liked the actor who was young Davros because he made a great job considering he was a child actor. I mean, you really felt sympathy for him in the beginning and then you realized, oh my god, it's Davros. So, see you next week when we watch the next episode, which is called The Witch Familiar, I think. Well, adios.